Now welcome to Aminak Online Tutorial. Now let us uh, look at how to get the dimensional formulas of resistance, capacitance, plaque constant, magnetic induction and permeability. Alright, now let us start with uh, resistance, the electrical, electrical uh, resistance. Now let us recall according to the law of Ohm's that V equals to what IR, where V is the potential uh i the current and r so let us make r the subject of relation so here we have the v all over i all right now we've actually gotten a we've derived the uh, the formula for for potential difference in one of my video now let's recall that that uh, uh Now from this, we can actually get the formula for potential difference. We have V equals to the work done all over what? Charge. Okay, and this charge here will give us uh, the work done here will be force times distance all over. Then the IT which will give us a uh, uh, kilogram meter per second square times meter all over the current A and the time and seconds so dimensionally here we have uh, mass this is a uh, length and at the time minus two that's another length all over a then t so solving these here we have uh, m now this l times here you have what l is equal to two then t is to over now take note that this is minus 2 and minus 1 here will give us minus 3 then a is power minus 1 so this is the dimensional formula for potential difference now if you plug it here okay now that current is a so plugging it here we have what m l is to the power of 3 is that sorry it is 2 then t is power minus 3 then here you have uh, a to the power of minus 1 all over A, which is the dimension for current. Okay, then after which it becomes M, L to the power of 2, T to the power of minus 3. Take note that this is minus 1, minus 1. So minus 1, minus 1 will give us what minus 2. So here you have A, L to the power of what minus 2. Now this is the dimensional formula of electrical resistance all right now let us move to capacitance now let us recall that c equals to uh, q all over v okay now according to capacitance of the capacitor so here we have the quantity of charge i t all over that our v is given as this right so we plug in this here we have okay let us just say v here then c here now the dimension of current is a now the dimension of uh, time here is t now all over so here we have the whole of this m r is to the power of 2 now t is the power of minus 3 and a is to the power of minus 1 okay now if i have to put everything in uh, index form so here we are that c equals to what m is power minus one right because this is m uh we have that m one over m will give us what m is power minus one which is this the same thing as this length here is power minus two then t here minus three this is one minus minus three will give us four if i'm not mistaken this is one then minus which is the division then minus 3 which will give us 4 so here you have t which is the power of 4 then here we have uh, now this is 1 then minus minus 1 here you have what a this is the power of what 2 now this is the dimensional formula for capacitance okay all right to which now let us now move to black constant now according to black constant here we have that the energy equals to h 
and the frequency and the, our h here is the plug constant now if you are to make uh h the several formula here so here we have that h equals to what e that's the energy all over and the energy here is the same thing as what force times distance so here we have let me come down here that'll be force times distance all over now the frequency here has this unit as hertz and that hertz is per second so the uh, our force here is kilogram meter per second square times meter all over second per second okay now dimensionally here we have m for kilogram length for meter then t raised power minus 2 for second times another length all over t raised power minus 1 okay and if you are to solve this now here we have that h will give us m yeah then l times here we have what l raised to the power of 2 now here you have minus 2 minus minus 1 look let us solve here t minus 2 minus minus 1 will give us a uh, will be minus 2 plus 1 which will give us what minus 1 so here our t here will give us minus 1 and that's that's all um, right now this is the dimensional formula for Planck uh, constant all right now let us move to magnetic induction now magnetic induction now let us recall that f equals to mag l i mean b i l right okay so where our magnet uh, b is a magnetic flux our i is the current and l is the length now let us now make b the sort of formula so here we have that b now we give us f all over i l okay i guess we derive force somewhere here around right here which is this okay um, the dimension of force here from here we have m l then t raised to minus 2 then all over now the current which is the that has the dimension of a and another length r so this we delete this so here we have that m which is the mass for the force so here we have that t this is power minus 2 and a this is power minus 1 so this is the dimensional formula for magnetic uh, flux okay now let us now move to the permeability now let us recall that b also equals to the permeability i all over 2r okay now after which let us make the permeability the sort of formula so permeability here now we give us a 2br all over i now we can just we are not making use of the 2 now here you have the dimension of the magnetic flux which is m t is for minus 2 a is for minus 1 all over the dimension of current is a so take note that this is minus 1, now minus plus 1 here, we have m t minus 2. Let us take note, a minus 1 minus 1, right? Okay, we have minus 2. So, <coughs> so the dimensional formula for permeability is given as that. All right.